Thank you very much. Thank you, Mike, for that kind introduction earlier. Welcome, everyone. I gather a number of you have arrived almost directly from Davos. Apologize that we don't have any snow, <laughs> no mountains, but I hope the water and the warm weather and the warmth of our people help make up for that shortfall. Mike, uh, I, I think you did a very good job in, in, of introducing my team, so I'll, I'll skip all of that and just say how delighted and honored I am to have been invited to speak this morning uh, by my good friend, Charlie. As Mike hinted at, we have been working with Cayman Enterprise City as a government for a number of years because we really do believe that um, it is the way forward. And the developments over the course of the last year um, with the blockchain um, technology and interest um, here is quite amazing. I gather this is the 15th edition of the D10E conference, global conference, and the first one here in these islands. Personally, I don't think you could have picked a more perfect jurisdiction to talk about the future of financial services. Our excellent weather, first-class restaurants, white sand beaches, warm, hospitable people, and of course, our position as a major financial services center all make for an ideal combination. Before going further, I have to admit that when I received the invitation to speak today, I was not sure what D10E was all about. So I did what anyone else would do. I asked my son's Alexa speaker. <laughs> Unfortunately, Alexa responded with something about a Caterpillar D10 crawler tractor. <laughs> so much for smart speakers. So I did it the old fashioned way. I typed D10E into the Google search engine and learned that the name was based on the count of letters between the D and the E, and the, and the final E in the word decentralized. And yes, I counted, and there were 10. <laughs> I also admit that, like many people, I suppose, the concept of economic financial decentralization based on emerging technology sounded like something from an episode of Star Trek. In fact, D10E would have fit in perfectly as a name for a character in the latest Star Wars movie saga. But as everyone here knows, we don't have to wait until the 24th century. Financial technology or fintech is already disrupting today's traditional financial services sectors. So much so that the financial businesses are paying attention and looking at how to adapt. According to KPMG, investment in the fintech space has exploded and global fintech investment in the first three quarters of 2017 alone was an impressive 21 billion. At the individual level, Bitcoin and other decentralized currencies have been embraced by millions of people across the world, and they're using cryptocurrency for commerce as well as, as an investment, an indication that consumers in large numbers are willing to adopt these non-traditional financial services products. And in the midst of all this change, governments and regulators are trying to understand what all of this will mean for finance, consumer protection, levels of taxation, and of course, future jobs and economic growth. I am certainly pleased, therefore, that Cayman Enterprise City and all the other sponsors have brought such an important conference to our shores at this particular juncture. The organizers have certainly managed to attract a diverse and interesting group of speakers. To those participating in the ICO pitch, I want to wish you the best of luck. Whether you win or not, the fact that you are here is an indication that your business is credible. I do hope you consider the benefits of setting up your business in Cayman and looking at what Cayman Enterprise City and the Cayman Islands has to offer. Not only are you in the gem of the Caribbean, but the Cayman Islands is one of the foremost international financial services centers, as well as the hedge fund capital of the world. And as you will find, we have a cadre 
of professional people serving our financial services sector that is second to none. Indeed, in Cayman, you will find our financial services industry is home to first-rate service providers that cater to a diverse market segment, investment funds, asset management, banking, insurance, capital markets, and trust sectors supported by world-class fiduciary, legal, and accounting professionals. I am proud of what we have achieved in a short half century to provide an environment for international business to flourish, to build our economy, and provide more jobs and opportunities for Caymanians and residents and investors alike. We have a modern legal system that is based on English common law. We have modern copyright laws having adopted the UK's protections for intellectual property, which also deals with software production. We've also recently updated our intellectual property legislation for trademarks and design rights, and plans are in motion for further enhancements this year. We are, I believe, well positioned to serve as a jurisdiction of choice for a new breed of financial services business whose innovations are ch changing the traditional face of the financial services sector. Added to our enviable position on the financial services world stage, we are a tax neutral jurisdiction, not like a tax haven. We pay lots of taxes here, just different kinds. Despite how Hollywood wrongly paints us, we are not a place one comes to hide from the taxman or to spare away ill-gotten gains. Taxes owed in other countries must be paid and the Cayman Islands will not help anyone commit a crime, whether tax-related or any other form of financial crime. So if you're thinking of incorporating here, you can be assured that the Cayman Islands is a respected financial services center that adheres to the rule of law. And we work in partnership with many countries, including the US and the UK, to deter all forms of criminal activity. And as regulators globally, come to grips with concerns about emerging decentralized financial systems. The Cayman Islands will pay attention to and comply with any agreed international standards to defend against financial crimes, including money laundering, tax and terrorist financing, tax evasion and terrorist financing, as well as cyber crime. And given our history of cooperating with international regulatory bodies and finding the right balance between effective and sensible regulation, I have no doubt that the Cayman Islands will again be at the forefront of determining appropriate regulatory regimes in the fintech space, just as we have done with traditional financial services business. Again, I welcome you to the Cayman Islands and sincerely hope that you find your time here rejuvenating and refreshing. Enjoy our sun, sun, hospitality, and people. But I hope you also take some time to explore our business climate and get to appreciate the benefits of working and living in these beautiful Cayman Islands. Again, I th thank Charlie and the team at Cayman Enterprise City for helping to bring this all-important conference to the Cayman Islands. And I thank all of you wonderful people here for your kind attention this morning. Please enjoy the conference and your time here with us.